It was late yesterday that Prime Minister Christie announced the postponement of the poll. Beside him at a press conference was one of the partners from Dixon, Wilson & Co., the UK-based firm which advised the government on the feasibility of various forms of gaming. James Kidgel said the company took a range of factors into consideration before reaching the conclusion that a national lottery would not be financially viable. A Bahamian lottery would need investment from or participation in one form or another from some commercial enterprises, um, be it the government contracting with commercial enterprises or a commercial enterprise operating the lotter lottery itself. And based on the figures that we would expect the lottery to, to, to generate, such it, it seems difficult to see how a, a, a commercial enterprise will be will see the returns that they would expect from participating. Kidgel was also questioned about how big a lottery jackpot could get, all things considered. I don't think we've got that far in the, in the, in the assessment, but if, if you look at the Trinidad and Tobago example, a population of four, uh, r roughly four times the Bahamian population, um, you, know, you could be looking at jackpots of half a million dollars.